What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 9.27 p.m. Eastern Time, February 12, 2018, coming to you with a brand new Bitcoin trading video. This is the second one of today. I think we've only made one other video earlier today. I intended on getting a lot more out, but uh, just, I guess, first day back from, from, from vacation, and there's just uh, lots to get done. So, um, but first, before we get into it, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, upvote, resteam if you guys are on DTube. Also, following us on DTube and or Steam it would be greatly appreciated. Links are down below. And also, the link is down below to our Facebook uh, trading team. So, let's get right into it. Right now, we're looking at the Bitcoin. This is on a daily basis. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier today, and I cleaned up the chart. You know, this is almost as clean as my charts really ever get unless I'm just deleting everything and starting from fresh. But this is pretty much as clean as 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 things uh, you know uh, you know pretty much get. So I like to zoom out because it's the whole thing when in doubt zoom out, right? So to take a look at the big picture, and it sounds like a really obvious thing to do, and it really is an obvious thing to say. Sounds pretty stupid, quite quite honestly. But sometimes people forget that, especially people that are new to the market. They tend to keep on zooming in, zooming in. Oh, okay, they get. They get, uh, you know, they look at the four-hour basis. Uh, they look at, you know, they look at the daily. They look at the four. They look at three, two, one. Before you know it, they're looking at the like the three and the nine minute, right? And then, and then, you know, then they're like almost lost. So you need to keep pulling yourself out. Now, one of the things um, I'd like to say is that things are starting to take take a, a more positive look. Uh, all, all the indicators that I look at and all the patterns and you know everything I look at is starting to turn more positive now does that mean I'm going out and I'm buying you know everything right now no by no means okay I've actually made some great positions excellent positions um, and I'm really happy with where I'm positioned right now so if this thing were to even run up you know 20 30 percent hey I'm really happy with the way I'm positioned right now so and that's what these that's what these these lower you know these these lower lows are all about. That's what all these 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 support lines are all about. Is 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 casting your casting your net in order to go ahead and 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 basically put in your limit orders to to purchase if you want to purchase. So, um, yeah, let's let's zoom in a little bit more. You know, so uh, one of the things here I want to mention is the QQ, QQE indicator has turned bullish um, as of a few days ago. And uh, that's always a good thing we'd like to see because QQE indicator tends to be pretty, you know, trends, you know, uh, uh, you know, pretty pretty indicative with regards to, to larger trends. So let's take a look at the four-hour basis. Um, okay, doke. So... All right, where are we? Uh, you know, let's actually zoom in a little bit more. One hour basis. So when things get a little like um, heated around, you know, key support and resistance lines, I myself also tend to zoom in quite a bit because I want to know the latest information. And <clears throat> this is clearly, obviously, the latest information. What has happened over the day? I think when we made our video last, the market was somewhere around here, and I said we were going to have like an ABC correction. We had exactly that, an ABC, uh, small, I said a small ABC correction. We had exactly that. And and now, you know, had our, what I believe is our fifth wave leg up here with regards to this, um, this wave right here. Now, as I zoom out, I start looking at a lot of different things. Um, one of the things is that this is looking very like like um, roundish okay very very roundish and you know similar to what you see in a lot of uh, channels is that there's a lot of three waves uh, and that's very similar that's very I mean that's what happens in, in in channels it's usually three waves for these type for these types of channels and it's usually indicative of not necessarily there being a large um, motive wave, in other words, a large, um, large motivation for the market to run up higher. And 
in this case, we had mentioned some time ago that this may look like a large bearish flag. And yeah, the other market sold off and then it tried to, you know, come back up again, peak up back up again, and then it sold off again. And now it kind of started making its run up. It's hitting this dash blue line. And now it also hit the um, approximately about the 9,000 level. I don't know if it actually hit it on spot, but pretty much, okay, 8,995, we're off $5, so I'll apologize there. But basically, as far as I'm if I'm concerned, for all intent and purpose, uh, it has hit the 9,000 level, and it bounced off immediately, right? You can even go in, let's go a little bit closer here, half hour, and what is something I want to show you, because I got, you know, good amount of like hey why you know why do you even use this and stuff like that so this secondary blue line okay you see what the market did here the market bounced between the two between the two okay this is like a channel within a channel on a very obviously small time frame but hey it definitely respected it the market knew that that was there I mean, even here, I mean, it actually, as it tried to break through, it jackhammered through it, right? And then finally it came back. It, it came down. Now, <clears throat> where are we right now? Let's, let's, let's uh, zoom out here. Come on. Few things going on. I'm thinking that there is some sort of ABC correction going on here. We have an A, we have a B, and we have a C. Okay, this is going to be five legs down. If this is going to be five legs down, if this is truly what's going to happen, I believe we could get to this level of around, let's call it 75.50. That's kind of like, you know, if this is truly a, a strong ABC, that's kind of like my my mid-range projection. I do think it could get down to like somewhere around here. It's about 70, 71, 7150. Okay, I do believe we could we could that could happen. Now, why do I think it couldn't happen? It, I think it couldn't happen because a volume has been selling off. And one of the things I do want to mention, I actually got a few questions from actually a few different people independently about the volume. And that they were, you know, trying to read into the volume of what is, you know, what is a volume doing um, with, re, you know, with regards to, to, the, to the market price. Now, one of the things we want to see, and I've mentioned it many times before in the past, is we want to see volume getting lighter. And we want to see volume getting lighter over time. And several of the questions all in a similar fashion mentioned, well, I feel volume is going down or volume is, is decreasing so therefore, I feel that the price is going to decrease. Now, sometimes that is the case. Don't get me wrong. But what we want to see in, in, um, in, in, the, in a correction is that volume goes down. So when the price, when the buyer is returned, they don't have to overcome a lot of sellers. There's very few sellers left, left over. So the, so the price takes off, you know, like like it has rocket boosters underneath it it just goes straight up um it it in a very in a very aggressive fashion and we want that to happen we want people to almost like get tired of of bitcoin right you you want to see that happening and and you want the volume to go down and i got a lot of heat for this in the in in the past um, by, by, by saying these types of things, but that's truly what you want to see in a, in, a, in a correction. When you don't see that, the correction tends to be an interim correction. It tends to be um, something that will, that will um, I'll show you, something that, <clears throat> excuse me, that will run up, you know, will run up, will get to like a level like here, okay? The market will then, you know, even run up even further, right? I can I can even show you on a on a larger basis kind of what I'm thinking. <clears throat> that this whole thing right here is one large A. And then we have a B. 
and then we have a huge C okay coming down to like the the, the, the $2,500 level or 2000 level <clears throat> excuse me that is a possibility it's a slimmer possibility but it is something that could happen in this in this in this in the instance where we don't have a true correction here in other words a really nice deep true correction now with that said what do I think is going on right here? <clears throat> Actually, let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's go a half hour. Why not? When in Rome, right? So, bearish flag. Something is going on here. There's a few things that could be going on. Okay, I had drawn this line right here um, when we had all this market action. Okay, all this market action that was right here, and it, it, it had bounced off here, and then I had drawn this line just to see, you know, so when I flip back to the chart, I'm like, okay, where are we? I can look at it literally in a nanosecond. You don't need to say, well, was that lower than this or that with respect to that? No, I just look at the line. Boom, there it is. So now... The market has kind of fallen below this kind of quasi, you know, small little support support level. I don't mean this by as a major support level by any means, but it is something that is there and that we need to we need to uh, keep track of. The next thing I'm I'm looking at is is well, what's going on here? All right, there's clearly something going on here. And there's clearly something going on here. Now, wait a second. Is this like another bearish flag? Maybe, maybe not. Is this, you know, I can actually, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave that for right now. Okay, maybe we have something, you know, that's going to be something more like this. Right, and this is going to come down, it's going to bounce off, and it's going to come back up. Maybe this is more of like an ascending wedge, right? This works really well too. Something like this. Okay. You can have the ascending wedge line go, go from here. You can have it go from here. Okay, It's not a very pretty one, but it is one to say the least. So this is bearish. The other things that I was showing as well are, are bearish as well. Uh, descending wedge is what is bullish. So a few different bearish, <clears throat> at least on the interim, in the shorter period time, time period, a few bearish signals uh, as far as chart patterns are concerned. And we have the QQE indicator that's also coming down too. So in the event that this sells off, one of the things I'm going to start looking at closely, more more closely, or speaking about on my videos more closely to, to be more accurate, is volume. Because it seems like a lot of people are curious about it. And I don't speak a lot about it, but I would say volume probably makes up a good uh, a good 25% of my, of my analysis. Um, and there's a lot about my analysis that I haven't even spoken about because I want to get out these... Elliot Wade videos and the tutorials and stuff like that because I want to make sure everybody's on the same playing field and I can at least say, hey, you don't understand it. Go over here and take a look at this. So um, that's really why I'm not taking these things to the next level just yet. And believe me, I have like like a lot of levels. So um, I've been doing this a long time. So uh, as far as being watered down, this is pretty watered down. It's pretty pretty watered down for, 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 what, for what I do. Another thing I want to take a look at is, um, is that on a one-hour basis? Okay, yeah. So the little I I see of other people's videos, um, people are talking about this head and shoulders all over the place. And I don't really see it. You need to have some volume on this right shoulder. Um, and I don't really see it. I mean, maybe over here. I mean, over here. I, I don't really see it at all. 
Regardless, I'll put it in here because I know I'll get questions about it. And it pretty much, I pretty much already had the neckline drawn. I'm not even going to draw it again. This blue line is basically the neckline. Okay, right here. As far as I see it so far. So, <clears throat> if this were to shoot up, I wouldn't even say it's a head and shoulders. You know, let's say it would, the market were to shoot up. I wouldn't even really say it's a head and shoulders. I would just, you know, say, well, the market shot up due to other reasons. Uh, due to the fact that it broke also this this uh, this resistance line right here, which was a major, you know, uh, you know resistance and, and support line for quite some time. It broke through that. You know, for the first time for a long time. I mean, the last time it was over it was, call it about the February 1st. So, you know, approximately, uh, you know, uh, two weeks ago. Let's call it two weeks ago. So, um, yeah, I mean, if it were to if it were to uh, break above it, I would say, yeah. I mean, that's the reason why it's running up. Not necessarily because of the fact that there's a supposed head and shoulders here. So, um yeah, I know. I'll hear. I hear a lot. I'll hear a lot of comments. People saying, "Oh, I don't really need the right shoulder to have much volume and stuff like that." Um, uh, you know, to which I'll say, in, in, in my experience, you, you do. So, um, anyways, we'll leave it right there for right now. Um, really, the 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 true thing we need to watch out about is this, right now is this nine thousand level. If it were to come back down, like this is if this truly is an ABC correction um like i mentioned before we have this uh this level in right here i think it's like 75 we'll just call it 75.50 i believe this is a fibonacci number i guess i didn't i didn't write it here um i don't i believe it is um i may be mistaken or maybe this one below is a fibonacci level i don't remember i need to start writing these things down right start writing these things down in the charts regardless whether it's a fibonacci number or not uh, this is also a key a key support level, and so is this one. So, um, yeah, that's about that's about it for right now. Um, let's just see if this thing breaks down or if it breaks up. In my estimation, I believe it would break down a bit. Um, maybe not completely to see, but it would break down um, a, a bit to say the least, because this is a fair amount of of uh, work that the market has done. Um, and there has been some, you know, higher volume levels, you know, around here in particular. And the market kind of like just barely eked out this, um, this, 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 uh, this channel right here. So, um, yeah, we'll speak to you guys in the morning. Happy trading and have a great night.